What is going on everybody? Welcome to another sentiment analysis tutorial. I get a lot of emails from people who um, want to do Twitter analysis but are having a hard time to figuring out how to uh, measure someone's impact on Twitter, right? Because not everybody has the same impact as everyone else. And it's certainly not measured solely by the number of followers, nor the follower to following ratio. So uh, what I want to do in this video is just kind of go over um, a starting point to measuring someone's impact on Twitter. Because everyone's opinion on Twitter is not this is not worth the same, right? And so anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So we see here we're viewing this guy Bluzer12, and right off the top we see he's got a very unbalanced follower following to followers ratio, right? And the lower the following to followers ratio, um, the better, right? Or the higher followers to following ratio, the better. So. Um, but that's not the only thing we would want to look at, right? Like, so this this means this guy's probably influential, and he's influential enough to the point where more people follow him than he follows people. But the problem with only going on this is there's a lot of people who will uh, add people and then just remove those people, like after they've added them back, right? And so, so that it, you know, you've got people that cheat the system by doing that. So the next thing you kind of want to do is. First of all, you could analyze who they're following and find out if the people that they're following are following them back. And then also, um, probably in my opinion, a better method is to click on their followers. And you can see, okay, he's got all these followers. Now it's a long process, but not really for a computer to go through here. So he's got uh, you know, 13, 23 followers. Now what we want to do is analyze who are his followers, right? And are these like legitimate followers that are truly maybe interesting and what interested in what this guy is talking about? And then also like are the followers themselves influential people? So the next thing we want to do is like the path to class. Okay, let's check out this guy. He's probably brand new. He's got the little egg. But as you can see, he has zero tweets. He's following 21 people and has zero followers. In my book, this guy is worthless. So you would take this guy right out, right? Like this guy has no, um, even though he's one of this guy's, you know, 1,300 followers, this guy is completely worthless. So minus one, right? Then we'd want to check out this next guy. So let's see who he is. He's got, he's following almost 2,000 people and has about 609 followers. So this guy's pretty imbalanced. The next thing we'd want to do is kind of analyze this guy's tweets. Well, See, like this guy right here, he's an investor, right? Equities, options, economics. He's on into that kind of stuff. This guy, um, well, I'm having a really hard time telling you what this guy's into because I'm pretty sure he's talking French here, and I don't know French. So, but I'm going to go ahead and guess he likes basketball. <laughs> so, or she, Syrian, I don't know, Syrian, I don't even know. Anyway, this person is a fan of basketball. Um, their name is Basket Basket. Anyways, so you would have to analyze that. I, ha I can't really analyze that one. Let's check out Trader Value. This looks like the Stock Twits logo. Interesting. It's like almost identical to the Stock Twits logo. Anyway, this guy, again, we can see that he's following, he's almost got like a two to one following to followers ratio. So again, this guy's not the most influential, but he does still have, you know, a lot of followers. So anyway, you can go down the list and keep doing this to these people. But the next thing you really would want to do is starting with blue, let's say we'll we'll analyze this trader value guy. So how so we want to know how we want to know how valuable blue is, but the way that we're valuing blue is based on blue's followers. So really, you have to value, evaluate Blue's followers. And we already said that the following the followers ratio is not um, the sole factor. In fact, I would say that's probably like the last piece that you should look at. You care way more about who is following them. So again, we look at this guy, and he's, you know, he's got the bonus of having more followers than he's following. And then we look at, okay, here's one of his followers. So now what we'd want to do is take it a step further because, again, following the followers ratio isn't 
that important. And really, I would say the first important factor is how many people are following that person and then how important are those followers. That's what I would say, or how influential are those followers. But anyway, so now let's check out this guy's followers, right? So we go over here and we got, you know, all his followers. And so now we want to evaluate these followers. So then we've got this guy who apparently is really valuable. He's got 23,000 followers and he's only following 15,000. And then we could, you know, we you could keep going down the line. So you could do like five layers or something like that. And um, so you can do that. And then the next, what you would have to finally arrive to is first you'd want to pull all this data. Then you'd want to start evaluating the data and, and deciding how much you want to value um, the following to followers ratio. And then um, also the power of those who are following this person, how much you want to evaluate that or value that times the amount of followers they have. And then that's how important, you know, that you give them a, uh, an impact rating or whatever you wanted to call it and so on. So that's just kind of like a starting idea to how you can start to uh, evaluate someone's importance or impact on Twitter. And you're still going to have to get to the numbers yourself and, um, you probably are going to want to use just machine learning for that, figure out which one is the best by what I would suggest is hand pick a few guys that you would consider, or girls, that you would consider highly influential people and then go through their followers and just see like, okay, well, how powerful of a following do they have? And, um, and then run that through at, uh, like your machine learning as kind of like the, the bottom line or, or the, uh, I think of what I'm trying to say here, the baseline basically of, of what you're looking for. And then you can start finding, you know, what makes, what, what numbers generate what you're looking for. So anyway, um, that's going to include this tutorial. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed, hopefully you have spurred some ideas for you guys that want to do Twitter analysis, but aren't sure how to value someone's account. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support, and your subscriptions, and until next time.